Hello, we're back again here at uh, Darlington this time. See fixed race. It's uh, it's really late at night, so um, very low participation, and we've got uh, well, we're the number one truck today, so uh, a little scary. Um, this is actually not my first attempt either. Um, the real scary thing is me, because <laughs> um, I wrecked myself. I spun and lapped one of my other attempt. Very bad. Oops, let me fix my audio a little bit here. Uh, very bad. Very poorly done. <laughs> uh, I hadn't gotten enough practice at a time, and I should have known that coming into Darlington without enough practice is... Well, that's how it's going to end, so... Got more practice this time around. Darlington's still an evil track, but I think I got a little better handle on it this time. Um, I was letting know that uh, that uh, maybe my HUD was a little bit in, uh, too big in the way. I couldn't figure out how to get like the uh, relative. Ooh, sorry, I'm kind of taking this easy this first lap. And, uh, I'm trying not to hit the wall. Um, I was letting know that uh, maybe could have uh, been out of the way a little bit. I couldn't figure out how to make it smaller, but uh, I kind of reorganized everything a little bit, pushing it away so I'm not uh, covering any of the action if possible. Uh, hopefully it's a little better. And uh, I'm looking into getting a wireless headset to kind of eliminate some of the random noise you hear because right now I don't, uh, I'm uncomfortable when I have to like wear headphones or something when uh, when driving so I think if I can uh, save up for like a wireless headset maybe that'll be a little better and help with the audio quality because right now I've got like my steering wheel bolted or not bolted but you know clamped to the desk and uh, and uh, it's all the force feedback vibrates the desk and makes them uh, noises. I didn't realize how bad it was until someone pointed it out, and I think I'm thankful for that. I love all the uh, constructive criticism because um, stuff like that. I, I was looking past it. I wasn't even thinking about it. So um, it's very helpful to know what I could do to make the videos a little more tolerable. <laughs> you already got to listen to me, so geez, I, it's bad enough already. <laughs> It's, uh, I guess that was a pretty good lap. Looks, oh wow, we them. Yeah, this is definitely like a single split late night race. It looks like we got uh, all kinds of different speeds in here. It's probably gonna be, uh, um, gonna have to be real careful, you know, if we reach a lot of traffic or something. And, you know, you, that's what you always have to do at Darlington anyway. Um, be very careful around guys and give and take, or else you just uh, don't survive here very easily. So. Um, just wanted to get one of these races in before the uh, end of the week, because I haven't done this yet, and um, going out of town, starting, uh, oh, the guy that uh, qualified first has disconnected, well, I was curious, he might be coming back, um, going out of town, so I'll, uh, be back early next week whenever the tracks are changed so um if i uh wreck or something i'll be in uh, bad shape <laughs> probably lose another hundred i rating or so like i did uh last time i spun it myself not that, that stuff matters too much but still disappointing almost uh, four thousand for the very first time i was really uh trying to get there That'd be a cool milestone to have. You get that neat little achievement thing on your profile. It's all artificial, but it's fun. I like uh, just trying to see uh, how far I can go and all that. But I'm not going to take it so seriously. Uh, if anything, safety rating matters more to me. So just that like nonsense where I'm like spinning out and on the first lap and stuff, that's really where I'm trying to be better. I don't want to do that kind of stuff. That's embarrassing and uh, I don't want to be thought of as like a weapon out here <laughs> so well um take it easy in the race tires will be 
nice to have around as the laps go on. Probably do my best to uh, give some space front and behind me, a room to breathe for everyone if possible. We'll see how well that works out. But, um, it's Darlington. No matter what you do, it's going to be interesting. I feel like that's uh, always going to be the case. Coming in with a 14.01, and I got 48% brake bias. Brought that back. Uh, pretty aggressive on that, but I definitely wanted to turn. One to go. Next time by. Gotta keep You're it out of the wall. Get that rotation I need. And uh, what else? Yeah, 14 and one. Cause 16 and one, I just uh, want to try to be able to catch the slides a little bit. I think last ra the last race where I looped it, I had it 16 and one, and apparently I need help catching it if it starts sliding. So. Maybe that'll help me have a little more uh, control when it starts getting weird. Mm -hmm. So we got the three guys up front, pretty similar times, and then about a second difference back to fourth. Now that's just qualifying, so it could be different in the race, but uh, if you know we get some space there between third and fourth place, I might uh, try to find myself settled in there focus on tire saving and seeing uh, where that brings me to the end you know tire saving and keeping it safe keeping it off the wall we'll see we'll see how it looks fortunately starting second is my absolute least favorite place to start because uh, you got to do that awful thing where you're like looking and trying not to hit the wall on the straightaway <laughs> Sometimes uh, I'll try to get a little out front like this and like uh, watch them from my mirror. Maybe like see their uh, their back quarter panel and uh, time my jump by watching that. But that'll depend on where uh, this number two, for example, decides to start. And what he's deciding right now is to be far from the pace car. Gotta catch up now. Uh, let's not loop it this time. <laughs> let's uh, be aware that we're on cold tires. Alright. Decent enough start. Very happy to be single file, because last time everyone kind of just stayed double file, and I think that's what killed me, because uh, I entered turn two here, I had no real choice, I was boxed in, I had to enter low, and uh, killed me. I spun out, I've already made it farther this time, so accomplishments have been had. Easy on that throttle. It's a loose setup. I should uh, should be happy with that. I mean, it gets tight later. I'm not sure you you could bring the loosest setup in the world to Darlington. I bet it would still get tight eventually. But um, if I'm uh, having to control it, keep it under me. That means that uh, I've got a little more control where the truck's going. Ooh, they are almost look like they came up and hit the wall, but I think they're just really good at uh, running close, close without getting it. Although I think they might have just gotten it. Hard to say if it was prediction code or not. Watching him behind me, see if he's going to be trying to make a move at any point. I almost wanted to just skip qualifying, but uh, truck position is way too important here. Passes are hard to make. Okay. Uh, gap between third and fourth. Okay, that's kind of what I was uh, expecting to happen. Still pretty 
loose on throttle. You can kind of feel it trying to pull to the left. Better uh, em embrace it now. Appreciate it while it lasts. That three back there might have almost hit the wall. Wow, this, this number two is real good. You can uh, get real close to that wall without hitting it. He's brave. I don't know if I can be that brave. But that's how you're fast here, for sure. Being able to run close and not hit it. Maybe, uh... Maybe I can just uh, run a little bit lower. Maybe not be as fast, but maybe uh, he'll get in the wall or something. And I'll be in position to capitalize. We'll see. Kind of catching him, apparently. Kind of happened before I even know. Oh, Caution. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take tires. Actually, might be a surprise, but uh, there aren't many people in here, so we have more chance of going green. Let me actually catch this guy. Get back in third gear, so get there. Because he might uh, be thinking the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. If it goes green at the end, I'm going to really be glad I did this. And uh, we get two sets. So, we'll see. If, uh, if we get more cautions, I'll have to save one of these sets probably, but... Tires burn off in an instant here, so. Boxed in five. Four. Got it all checked. Three, two, one. Box now. Er. 98, 98. Better than I thought they were. Okay, go. If we get a pretty quick caution. Then uh, everyone else, you know, will go ahead and pit and I'll stay out. I'm just thinking if this thing goes green, I'm going to want these, you know. Maybe it was too early, but not sure. Why are we all the way back here? Do you see there's probably like, I don't know, 12 people in here? Something like that. It's open. Definitely gonna want to be patient. Give these guys room, and uh, you know, take the chances when we can get them to get by them. Not force anything. I think uh, being smart about it, I should uh, be just fine. Never mind. I reckon under caution. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> that, that'll get the tires warm. I have no room to talk. I've made some dumb mistakes today in various races, so. <laughs> Poor guy. Probably's got some damage now. Truck kind of looks okay, though. <laughs> He might have looked worse from a uh, prediction code. He might have actually uh, pulled it back a little better and maybe just hit it with the side of his truck or something. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So yes, I'm assuming the guys behind us took tires as well. Unless they just went in the pits to uh, hang back in the back. In either case. What happens if you crash instead of pace car? I'm curious. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. No, get start on seven. Yeah, because you drive right through at the end of this lap. Oh, yeah? That's a good idea. Get yeah. start seven. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No uh, pace car cool. crashes. Oh, yeah. I can see. Yeah, awesome. I've always joked that they should let someone sign up as the pace car right. and oh, pace yeah. the field. Oh, pace car simulator. I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> we get enough cautions. I'd uh, have a full-time job. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> like, has to be bad, whatever it is, really. Mm-hmm. Alright. Hopefully I don't get boxed in too bad. Get ready. Going green. But see, there's uh, so few people in here, I'm not even all that far back once you stack the field up. With my uh, new tires. Post car is on. Time to do your job. Whatever's happening there, we're gonna wanna be careful. Inside. Well, looks like we got a little bit of a run. We'll come on through. Alright, appreciate him backing out. That's the that's how you do it here in Darlington. If you wanna be safe. Your Darlington stripe. Back in the top five. That guy's hit the wall a couple times. I think maybe he just doesn't have a very good connection. That one is, uh, maybe he's just getting close. Some of these times I think he's really doing it, but other times I think maybe uh, he's just uh, cutting close. Oof, I got tight. Stayed, uh, a little too hard on the gas for too long. Okay, be patient. I'm not going to try to pass through here. I'll try to get a run off. Hit the wall, maybe. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Sure, if he was going to go into, I wasn't about to make it uh, too wide. So, all right, so we're back in third. Got those guys kind of fighting up there, and uh, we've got a little bit fresher tires. So uh, we'll work on maybe uh, catching them as this thing goes on. If it doesn't work, not too bad. Still in third, and we'll maybe pit with them if we're not too close yeah, to the end. Good. if we even get a caution. I might not even be able to catch that number two anyway, he was pretty fast. Okay, so I'm going to switch this to alt or, uh, session last lap, because I'm obviously not going to be hitting best laps at the moment. Caution. Probably one of the worst times that could have happened. So what do we do? What do we do? What about the worst time that could have been. I think I'm gonna have to stay out. Pit road is now open. Four course yellow, pits are open. Probably gonna be right about uh, 98, 98 or so, like it was last time. I think it was a similar, uh, similar run. So they're both going. 
They'll have to make their way through those guys uh, this time, like I did before. Maybe they'll run into trouble. Fortunately, uh, still getting some cautions with a uh, smaller field. That's all right. Kind of just feel like I have to do something a little different than that, too. Because I think he's pretty much got me beat on pace. So I got to somehow beat him uh, with strategy in a way. So not looking good for my strategy here, but wanted to try it. Actually, how many people we got staying out? That's not too many. But I'm still going to save that set because I think uh, I'm going to want it. Who knows? See, now uh, now it's going to go green. Now that it's, uh, I've put myself at the disadvantage. To be honest, I thought that they were going to burn off more than that. I think we had like a seven lap run um, at the start and only burned off 2% on each. Of the right sides, that's crazy. At uh, Darlington. I thought they'd be eating them up even more. So we'll get to control the start this time, though. Probably a late start, because we want uh, hey, those guys uh, with the new tires to have a little bit more trouble making their way through, so keep it all uh, a little more compact. Probably best for us. Well, the number two is in fourth. Did more people pit? Well, gee whiz, guys, you were my buffers. I swear, I just looked and there was uh, more people back there. I know one of them was Lapper. But, huh. All right, well, obviously we'll let the uh, faster guys go by in the catch. You know, I'm not going to fight them all that hard. That would just be uh, delaying the inevitable and uh, potentially causing a wreck. And uh, no need for that. Still just uh, a little under halfway. <sighs> Eleven will be uh, coming on up here to pace on the outside. We'll give him plenty of room. Even during pacing, these uh, corners can get a bit tight. He looks like he might uh, be waiting put himself on the outside. Not a bad idea. If you don't feel comfortable. And like I said, we'll uh, do a bit of a later start. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Thankfully, it looks like those guys got stuck a bit. So we will try to get away as much as we can for now. Eleven and twelve are still uh, in second and third. I think this is going to be crucial time here to try to put some distance in between. I still uh, still don't feel too bad. I 
think we're okay. Still think they could catch us if, uh, if they get around those guys, but we can put some distance. I don't see the number two at all yet. Sorry, should be sorry. I'm relying on them right now. <laughs> ah, that's uh, I'm sure yeah, he'll be nice and maybe uh, give room and stuff. So that's why we gotta try to get away a little bit. Number three is on his way through. Still not seeing the two. I wonder, what, uh, I wonder if he got into uh, any bit of a problem. I uh, keep a solid pace, even if I'm burning my tires off. Unless one goes green or something. Uh, I think I'll still be able to pull off podium spot. A little too low there. Yeah, three's coming. I don't know, uh, I'm not too great at saving tires here anyway. I don't know if I could do a much better job if I even tried, so. That is what it is. Oh man, what happened? I see that three falling back. I need the wall or something. He fell about bad. He fell back real bad. Is that two in the next couple spots back? What happened to him? Oh my gosh. I don't see the two anymore. He was a big threat. like he's back back on it so that was, uh, well, getting some laps done make sure we don't hit the wall take care of it care of the truck anyway. I don't think I'm doing much to take care of the tires. Might be my downfall in the end. Yep, they're getting tighter, that's for sure. But uh, maybe if they're trying to uh, get to me, they'll uh, burn their stuff off too. Can't help but wonder where that two is. I gotta look. He's in fifth, ten seconds back. No idea what's going on. Brief bias helping me out there. Been there, uh, I get turned. Good stuff. Might think about uh, putting that back even more. And we uh, downside to that is if I have to really get on the brakes or something, to avoid a wreck, maybe I could loop myself. So watch out. Nope, I came 
walk across the wall. That was a little scary. You know, right though. my run off but it's coolio with me I almost feel like pushing hard through um, turns one and two there I feel like that almost helps me because I think it might be uh, getting the right rears a bit so it might actually help to push through here be more aggressive Pretty good though. About where I'm at. Caution could happen at any point though, too. Gotta remember that. And uh, we'll have to see what the nine's up to. Give, be patient and give him room. And uh, pass whenever it's uh, smart. I think people shift here once the tires get uh, bad in three and four. I might try it. Here in a minute. Not gonna take him too wide through here. we got That's still a fair number gonna have to keep on it keep trying to hit my marks I mean why would I not hit my marks that seems like a, a non-statement yeah let me just uh, I think these next couple laps I'm gonna take the turns incorrectly you know just to uh, spice it up a little bit a little flavor I do that enough already take the corners incorrectly so It's tight. Getting real tight. Hey, number two, I'm a bit faster than you. Can you let me pass? You won't lose the play. I'm way behind you. Number two. He's asking number two if he can pass. What happened to the two? He must have damage. I feel like that has to be it because he was so fast earlier. For the two to be off pace. Six to go. I'd have to bleed off a second a lap or get a caution to lose this thing. Potentially. And uh, just gained 0.6 through that corner somehow. I think it might be a little inaccurate though, depending where you are on the track. It seems like it's got a lot of variation. Sounds like I like kind of the apron right there. No, that was maybe. I'm <laughs> gonna help a turn. Five, five to go. Five to go. Oh! Stay out of the wall. That's another thing I can do to lose this thing. Start tearing down the wall. Well, hey, that uh, pit strategy is looking pretty good after all. Ended up having track position whenever uh, the green flag run has happened so far. So far, green flag run has happened. And that ended up being very important, it looks like. Three to go, coming up.
Well, I'm glad this race went better than my last attempt. Wouldn't it be, uh, I don't know, not ironic, but like coincidental? I don't know, poetic? If on the last lap I looped it on that corner somehow? Because the last race I looped it on the first lap, and then <laughs> this race I looped it on the last lap. I'm gonna go ahead and not do that if I can prevent it. But kind of be funny in a depressing <laughs> sort of way. He's falling back more. I wonder if there's a, a point where the tires kind of just even out. Like, yeah, you've got uh, worn tires. One more left to win. And uh, whether it's 90% or 60%, it's going to feel equally awful. I wonder if it hits a point like that. So we're cruising. White flag, no more caution. Just going to not hit the wall. And we'll leave here without a darling did stripe. I don't think I hit the wall, did I? No, I'm feeling left out. I gotta get a Darlington Stripe. You don't come to this place and not get a Darlington Stripe. Yeah. <laughs> Good race, guys. Thanks for the lap cars giving plenty of room. Make sure I thank the guys that were uh, kind. And I'll remember to do some burnouts this time. Last time I won that uh, hosted race. Spoilers, oops, in case you haven't seen that one. Uh, forgot to do burnouts, I was so excited. <laughs> Where do you guys do burnouts here? I guess kind of over here. It's all pavement. Make sure everyone's finished. Okay, the right yeah, bring it on must in. be right. <laughs> I'm not good at burnouts. That wasn't already obvious. Let me do that thing where you can like move forward while still. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> I gotta do some more wins to get some more wins so I know how to do it. There's my wheel being annoying, I'm sure. Like I said, working on getting the headset, so uh, less of these ambient noises, hopefully. Get filtered out. Do some stuff with uh, my microphone, too. Alright. We'll see what happened out there. Like, uh, like whatever happened to the two. No idea. What we got? This is a lap one. McDonald's hits the mick wall. So we make the pass. They're good. Let me get the volume a little bit. Two's getting the wall just a tiny bit. That looked like uh, didn't do much probably. Or, uh, oh no, I thought he was going to hit the wall, it looked like he uh, turned the wheel hard to not do it, I think, and then came off and did the opposite thing. Oh, and then he got the wall again. I think that was probably, he was at a low speed and then he tried to jump the gas and he had those uh, worn tires, maybe. Probably still cold on lap three. That's probably what got him. It's unfortunate. Oh, that's like one of those old schemes they used to do at Richmond, isn't it? With the Looney Tunes? Oh, I love that. I remember when they used to do that. I don't know. I don't think they still do that, do they? No. Banana car. Getting peeled. I'm gonna see a lot of that this race. thing. Oh, wow, we got a roller. How'd this happen? Nine clears himself. Heading into the corner. 
This misjudged it. He had a lot of speed going on, so I guess he thought he was clear. Really wanted to get uh, the line heading into the corner, but oof, he went for a ride. Oh, I remember this. This was kind of funny. Ooh, the, yeah, that was a... I mean, you're going pretty slow, but that's still a pretty hard hit. I mean, he hits that at uh, 50 miles an hour, but... I'm sure his uh, pride was just hurting a little bit more there. Four. Maybe something uh, displeased a little bit with banana. Banana car. Or it was an accident, I don't know. Oh, maybe he was trying to force his way to the outside. Maybe it was time to get side by side and restart. There's me back there. I got a great jump compared to the other dudes. Scott's? His name's not Scott. That's false advertising. See, I'm just gonna brush the wall again. Yeah. A little more, like, a little more of a hit. Oh, he keeps it up there, though. Got a nice long Darlington stripe. It's just prediction code, I think. Oof. Bruised banana. that in front of me. Just being patient, you know, he gets in the wall, give him some time to get it under control and then continue onward. He must have some uh, internet issues or something. He's from the Midwest. But uh, it looks like some of these times he's hitting the wall, some of the times he's got about uh, half a foot foot and uh, not actually touching it. Ooh, that's a heavy hit for the, for the eight. That's some damage. That probably didn't help him out later in the race. Imposter Scott in the wall? Oh, what was the caution for? We're back under caution? I wonder if I can find out. So I don't think we saw what was the caution there. So it would have been this lap, I guess. Let's uh, do some. What have we here in terms of caution? Mm -mm. Well, still nothing. Oh, why didn't we see this in the incident report? Wait, did we? We did, though. No, we didn't. Why didn't this show up? This was a big hit. Tim just uh, couldn't keep it down there, it looks like. Tried to make a pass, tried to go too wide. And uh, this is what set up, if I'm not mistaken, our uh, decision. Yeah, our decision that ended up being our... Uh, race winning one, believe it or not, which is when I thought I was in a bad position. So I head back to Chopper. So then I get my jump. That's what I kind of figured would happen. That's why I wanted to uh, get a later start. Make sure that those fast guys are boxed in. So what happened to the two? Oh no! He got it damaged. He wasn't patient enough. Tries to force it on the outside. Yeah, he just uh, tried to fit it in there. I think that's that's gonna be on the two. I think because Eleven's you know, just he's got that line kind of up there, and maybe two just misjudged it. But uh, is that the damage that kept him back there? I think it might have been. I mean, just look how fast he was heading into the corner. Like you know, he was gonna run us down in half a lap. Wow, that cost him. He's gonna get more damage. No, it's Scott's. 
It's a tough track. Can't judge anyone for getting out of the wall. Ooh, yep, that might have been the killer blow too. That's all this damage has been to the front end, probably killing his power. Almost looks like the two was already in the wall too. It's at least close. That's a hefty hit there. Damaging the front of his truck. I think he's down on power pretty good now. So, uh, putting him back there. Ended up paying off that track position. Wow. That's crazy. We uh, got kind of lucky in this one, I think. I don't think I was the fastest guy here. This looks, uh, potentially dangerous. Looks like they worked it out. That's unfortunate. It looked like uh, prediction code played a factor on that one. He pulls it off the wall and uh, gets really close. I don't actually touch, but it's close enough that that momentum causes that. That wasn't a uh, caution, though. Could have altered the ending. If it, uh, if it was. Looks like just about everyone's got damage at this point. I think it's safe to say everyone does. Everyone's got a little bit of damage. Mm. Man, yeah, that too just keeps finding himself in the trouble. You just gotta give so much space here. Just uh, gotta assume everyone needs every inch. Always got to anticipate that they're going to, you know, drag the wall in front of you or something. And got to give yourself space to maneuver out of the way if it happens. Not sure where the eight's going. He's taking the low line <laughs> at Darlington. Oh, there he's going into the pits. Okay. He just uh, went down there pretty early. Thought he's on the other side of the track. Who's gonna hit the wall again? Looks like he's probably got like steering damage or something a little bit. It's probably not controlling quite right. Oof. Just a little bit of wall scrape, probably. Yep. Four. Oh, that's the end of the race. Yeah. Does a parallel park? Almost. Well, I guess it's not parallel to the wall, but kind of slides it in. And that's it. All right. Awesome. I think it really uh, paid off for us to be very patient and careful. Because uh, I don't think I ever hit the wall, so... Oof. Need to stop saying oof. Um, yeah, we're looking clean. I don't think I ever got the wall. And uh, I think that helped us out. So thanks for watching. I uh, didn't expect... The win here. Probably should have, I guess, would be in the number one. You know, it's uh, late night, low strength of field, but yeah, I think we we're the only non damaged truck that uh, really made a difference for us. So, all right, thanks for watching. Lucked out on this one. See ya.